A listener asked the other day whether we had a uh, Ronald Reagan shrine here in the studios such as it is. This is the shrine. A couple of photographs of Ronald Reagan in his early years at WHO Radio. There's one with a gigantic microphone, the size of which kind of uh, outsizes even most of the computers we have running around here now. Smoking a pipe back in the day when apparently that was still fashionable. Smoking a pipe with the gigantic microphone altogether. And then Ronald Reagan in his later years when he stopped by at the studios well after he had left the station and in fact was later serving on as president. I believe that's a visit that he made in the uh, 1980s actually while serving as president of the United States. This was probably in the interim period here as well. So this actually sits in the lobby at WHO Radio Studios. And we also have a gigantic wall of nostalgia here. And Ronald Reagan does feature in this one in several cases as well. But this is the overall wall of nostalgia we have in the studios. Really a very impressive display. One of the most museum-like displays that you'll find in any kind of radio station anywhere. Uh, pretty impressive. You used to stay at the Crystal Studios at the Iowa State Fairgrounds. Today you find it, of course, here in the lobby. And Ronald Reagan, of course, right here, being featured both for himself appearing as a broadcaster and then the Des Moines Register from the day that he became elected, at least, President of the United States. So that's a look at the Ronald Reagan Shrine here at the WHO Radio Studios. That's what it looks like here. So if you ever come to visit us and you're parked here in the lobby area, that's what you will see.